let us all that we can to build a better future. Daniel, you got a story for the people. What is a going on? Okay. So uh, I thought this would be a kind of a little fun thing to talk about on, well, uh, what is it? Oh, hypocrisy. You know, something I very much care about and very much like following and doing things. Hello. There you go. And <laughs> okay. So remember when Donald Trump became president? I know it's really far away. No one remembers that time. Uh, he did a travel ban, which we had Hardland's media criticized and the media just destroyed with a righteous fury unless it was Fox News. Today's a different day with a different president, different people running it. And another travel restriction. I just want you guys to watch this video by NBC and just compare and contrast the different times we're living in. And that breaking news is out of the White House. Joe Biden, the president, will impose a new travel ban on non-U.S. citizens who've been to South Africa. NBC's Monica Alba joins us now. Monica, what's the latest? Just coming into us, Lindsay, two White House officials confirming that essentially tomorrow President Biden is going to be signing, signing some travel restrictions that apply, as you mentioned, to South Africa, specifically because there are so many concerns over that new COVID-19 variant. And there are mounting questions about whether the current vaccines out there globally have as much of an effect against this particular strain. Earlier today, Dr. Anthony Fauci said he couldn't say with certainty whether that South African strain is already here and circulating in the United States, but that it was very possible, given, of course, that's what we've seen with the UK variant already here in the United States. So what this means is it's not just going to be applicable to South Africa. And again, an important point here is that this applies mostly to non-U.S. citizens who had been in South Africa, but also to some European countries. Also, we are learning things like Brazil. These were travel restrictions that the Trump administration had put into place at the height of the pandemic last year that were actually some of them set to expire on Tuesday. But the Biden team, before even Joe Biden was sworn in as the president, had said they were not going to allow those restrictions to be lifted, that instead, because of how many cases there were, they were going to be even more rigorous with their travel restrictions because they are taking such an aggressive approach to trying to contain COVID-19, which is also why you saw President Biden in the last few days sign new executive orders that require masks in all kinds of airports and all places of travel, as well as some new guidelines for testing if you're coming into the United States from abroad, Lindsay. All right, Monica Alba right with there. Does anyone notice something missing? Like a big thing missing that we've had consistently during Trump's term. And again, not defending Trump in any way, shape, or form for the stuff he did. But on one hand, lockdowns don't work. We've, I, you know, we've seen me. I've been covering every major news strain that has uh, happened uh, over the last couple months. And that strain that's in South Africa has already moved. It's already moved throughout the world. It's already in a number of countries. So even the question of is it in America yet is sort of irrelevant because it's going to be anyway because one of the countries you haven't – blocked flights to someone's going to move it over here so it, it's 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 a null point the point that i want to make with this that i want to make very clear is this hypocrisy when trump did it it was only for racism purposes it was only for x y and z and it was always something that would be fought over especially on nbc but when biden does the exact same thing or extends the exact same thing it's just a normal news report it's just a thing that's being said. It's another story, just like anything else. It's not to be critiqued. It's not to be blamed. It's not to be crit criticized. It's not to be questioned, even though there are a lot of scientific questions that you have on the very concept of a lockdown to begin with. And that's just the way the cookie crumbles. NBC changes their mind based on who's in charge. That's not fake news. I don't know what is. Yeah. Um, again, we're going to see more of the hypocrisy of corporate media. This is something that we have talked about on Hardlands Media numerous times. Um, but sadly, uh, this won't raise a fuss because there's going to be the idea of, well, we can't uh, be critical of 
somebody like Joe Biden or Kamala Harris. We have to fall in line and uh, just vote blue no matter who. But see, this is the problem because now now that we have this situation with the virus and now continuous travel bans, uh, it's really embarrassing that um, that this is the, the, the rate that our media is at. And uh, it's just not that's my fake outrage because they don't have their orange man. So they're going to assume that everything's all OK. Remember, Trump inherited a lot of programs that was created by the Reagan administration, Bush senior administration, Clinton administration, Bush junior administration and the Obama administration. Trump didn't build those cages. He didn't get rid of habeas corpus. He didn't lead us for two wars of seven. He's the last man who should be in power. And now the people who've been implementing this neoliberal system we're in are once again back in power. Now, Trump might not run again. Who knows how this trial is going to turn out for his impeachment. But I fear to think of the next Trump, the more competent Trump, the one that can demolish the Democrats if they don't do anything.